Okay, today I'm going to show you our superset paste, which offers you the best of both worlds in, in terms of setting up a crack injection. We have it in the 600 milliliter cartridges. We have it in jar sets. And today I'm going to show it to you in the 13 and a half ounce cartridge, which will do 10 feet. Typically the guys will use 10 feet with our competitor's product. You can get 10 feet out of this because it'll do a thin film cure. So I'm going to do a combination of setups here. We'll do a little bit of what I would suggest for high pressure. And then we can show you the option if you're doing low pressure. Part of this is going to set up, I cut the end of the nozzle off. Part of this is going to set up in as little as 10 minutes. You don't need to be that fast, but I'll show you you can be. And then the other part is you can set up in 30 minutes and put a thin film on there. So you'll, if you're looking to extend the amount of product you get, you can put it on thin. If you want to go very, very, very fast, you can put it on thick. And not only that, if uh, you go with the thin film, you're going to use half as much as the competitive brand. So we'll set these first ports up low pressure the traditional way. I'm going to set them up. Ideally, if you're doing this, there's a lot of ways to skin a cat. You might want to use, guys use a glue gun, they'll just set these up early. We're going to see I'm not very professional at this, so setting up these little ports is not the easiest thing for me to do since I don't do it every day. But I'm going to glob some around here each one you'll see it sags a little bit it'll be thin do not let that scare you when this sets up it sets up hard as a rock it will not bubble if you get on it once you feel that it's tack free because it is set a lot of products you'll think they're set and then you'll notice some bubbling as you go to inject it kind of makes a mess so I'm going to put these on a little bit thick, so wet out some. Again, I'll be able to see the outline of this port on here, and it'll still set. So I'll set these up. This is a lot easier if you preset these. Now I'm going to put a bead down this crack. So if you want to do it this style, you can just bead right down the crack, just like that. You'll risk some blow by so that can be a little messy but if you want to put two strips of these down you can do that as well and then spread it out and get good coverage so I'm gonna make sure I smooth out around these ports just to make it look clean and if I gotta come back I can cover it easier So I can spread it out like this. It'll slow it down a little bit, not a lot. Looks cleaner. And then I'm going to leave this in a pile up here, which would be more what the high pressure guys would look at. And they can put a cleaner, tighter bead than that, but that'll that'll block that crack. And so setup time, we're at about three minutes. And I'm gonna show you at about 10 minute mark that that's set already. So if you put a build on these, I'll put a build on one of these ports. You're gonna see that it sets up extremely fast. So if you wanna use this nozzle system, which is really nice, you can do that right there you're going to be ready to go in 10 minutes. Okay, so we're at the 10 minute mark. And at the 10 minute mark, when I built it up, you can see it, it's set. It's set around this port, right? That doesn't move. This is still tacky here. 
just to show you the working time. So if you thin it out, you have working time. As long as you don't pile it up, it won't set. And even this mixing nozzle, I saw sitting here, a couple more minutes, none of this will work. It'll just go, it'll all set. But it shows you how I can sit with this nozzle down, give you a ton of options on how to attack that crack. But long story short, you can be done with it inside a half hour. In the same packaging, we have an LV urethane. It's extremely thin. It resists any pushback. So not only are these ports hard set, but because the urethane will flow in readily, you're not gonna have a lot of pressure back on the port. And there you have it.